Wisdom is like wildfire. Wisdom is not dull. Wisdom is always active. Wisdom is always alive. Intelligence is always alive. Intelligence is always burning. Intelligence is always yearning. For the next thing, you have been sucked in to a system that is doing nothing to you but destroying you. It's time you wake up. So one of the things about my life that I accept it the way it is, I don't, I don't, um, what should I say? I don't have a problem with it. It's because, one of the what am I saying? One of the things that I don't have a problem with in this life, when people refer to me as that, is um, the fact that people look at me um, like a rebellion. I'm a rebellious person, okay? Um, they look at me in society as the anti of society, as the one that opposes the norm. Okay, they look at me and, and say that, well, this is somebody you don't want to have anything to do with. And I get it because a lot of people um, tell people who they know are around me, like, okay, don't get near this person. There's a demon, there's a witch, there's a there's a wizard, there's a, all of that. You can put all of those names under one bracket. and That's okay. Okay? But the only reason why I am tagged as the many names people call me is because I refuse the word, the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. Fear is not the beginning of wisdom. Anybody that ever lied to you that fear is the beginning of wisdom is your enemy. I'm telling you. So, I just typed in the word fear and unpleasant emotions caused by the threat of danger, of pain or harm, phobia, terror. Just those who don't know. So if I refuse to be in terror, if I refuse to be in danger, if I refuse to be this person that everybody expects you to be, just by my refusal, automatically I become an enemy to the public. Okay? Which is basically the 99%, not the 1%. Why would I want to be part of the 99%? Why would you want to be part of the 99%? Which is controlled and dominated, but why? So, automatically, I would rather choose not to be part of what everybody else wants to be part of to become the opposite, the negative, than to be part of what everybody else to be part of. Let me move, even move far away from that. The only reason why a lot of people see me the way they do is simply because they are not thinking. It is not possible for you to start thinking and be like what everybody else is being. It is not possible. Forget about it. It will not happen. Once you decide not to think, automatically... You become what everybody expects you to become. You become the lover of the society. You become the joy of society. You become the wife of society. You become the husband of society. Society loves you. Everybody says, well, good, good one there. You are good. I am not a good person. I refuse to be a good person. I refuse to be in the good books of everybody. I don't care about what you think. Just in case you've forgotten, have you not heard the saying, the good die young? Who ever said, I want to die before the time I came here to manifest the things? I'm not afraid of death. I don't care about death. Everybody's going to die. We're all 
all going to die. So I don't care about that. But what I'm saying is that what I would not do is to leave this this amazing, this beautiful dimension before my time. I am not doing that. One day I'm going to talk about this dimension. Do you know what people have to go through to come into this existence? I'll come into that, that later. I'll come into that later. Okay, so I am a horrible person. I'm a dangerous person. I'm not a good person. Don't ever tag me a good person. I'm a horrible person. Okay? I'm the worst of the worst. That is me. Do you know the reason why I get all these titles and all these accolades? It's because I think. I think. It's only a thinking person that can actually come out to say, I refuse to be in fear. I refuse to be in terror. Because fear of the Lord is being in wisdom, right? So if I refuse to fear the Lord, I don't have wisdom. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I don't have wisdom. I'm against everything they stand for. Yes, I refuse to fear any God. Are you crazy? Why would you want to fear God? Why would you want to fear God? I love the gods. I'm around the gods. I cherish the gods. I carry the gods with me everywhere I go. But one thing I will not do is to be afraid of a God. Be wise. The reason why you tag me all the names, not you, you guys love me, you guys are here. They tag me with all these names is because they are simply afraid. They are in fear. They are in terror. If your mother is telling you, oh, oh, why don't you, why are you with him? Why? All that your mother, hey, I don't want trouble. I don't want what people will think. I don't want what society. I don't know what society. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to, I don't want to die. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And they will keep saying, I don't want to do this. Simply because they are afraid of what people will say. They are afraid of the unknown. What they don't know might happen to them. And guess what? Society is excited, the fact that you are afraid. The system is glad that you are afraid. The nations, the kingdoms, the system, the structures, I applaud you for being afraid. Because the system hates anybody to be wise. They hate you for being wise. They don't want you to be wise because the minute you become wise, you are a danger. The minute you become wise, they can no longer force you to live the life of a robot. Get up, I'm up. Sleep, I'm sleep. Go here, I'm going. Drink this, I'm drinking. Inject this into your body, I'm injecting. This is what they tell you to do. All the time, and you're constantly doing it because you're afraid. Lie down or lie down. Don't follow this person. I will not follow this person. You're afraid to ask, why am I not supposed to follow this person? What is it that this person is saying that I can't even associate with? You're afraid to even ask those simple questions. Just because somebody is telling you to be afraid, you go ahead and become afraid. Are you crazy? Do you buy food for me? Why would I not ask you, why don't you want me to follow this person? Why can't you ask you? Because they can have you. They don't want you to be wise. Do you know what wisdom comes with? Wisdom comes with freedom, ability to choose. Wisdom and freedom are like husband and wife. They walk together. They move together. They flow together. They go together. They do everything together. You could never be free if you live in terror. You understand? Know you can never be free and live in terror and live in fear. Once you are free, terror is out of the way. That's why I can do anything. I can go anywhere. I can drive anywhere. I can do anything and not be terrified. And at least I know whatever the outcome may be, it is my choice to be in that state. Let me ask a simple question. Is it your choice?
to live the life you are living. It's having a conversation with somebody. Tell the person, that, do you know, I because I did a diagnosis for the person, I told the person, do you know you are not supposed to, no, no, I said, do you know you are actually supposed to have this and that and that? He said, he said, um, um, I said, what would you feel free? Say, there's no fear here. He said, yes, I know, but I, I can't, I can't do it because society and the church and I'm an elder in the church and the church would tell me not to do this. And you say you are free? And you say he who the son sets free is truly free indeed? If you're free indeed, then you should be able to say, I am not stepping a foot here. And nobody should be able to tell you anything. But society wants you to be dumb. They don't want you to use your mind. They don't want you intelligent. The minute you fall into the category of intelligence, they are in trouble. You are dangerous. I am dangerous to them because I will simply not succumb. You know what I'm saying? I will not just take something. People in the house, they know. You cannot just prepare something in the house and give it to me and expect I'll drink it or I'll eat it. You kidding me? I'm not. Until I know that I want to eat this thing and I'm getting this thing out of this thing that I want to eat, then I eat it. Right? But you, they tell you, put anything into your system and you're putting it. You don't even have belief in yourself and you don't even have belief in your physical body that your physical body have the capacity to hold on and heal whatever it is that is, wherever foreigner, you have an immune system for crying out loud. You don't even have faith in your immune system. Because they told you you can't trust your immune system. See, the minute you become intelligent, you are dangerous to the society. You are dangerous to religion. The churches would hate you. Just as the churches would hate me. But amazing thing is, I have nothing against the church. It's a society. It's a cult you go to sit in. It's a religion you go to sit in. Be part of it. That's what makes you happy. Stay there. I don't have anything against religion. But don't you dare use religion to come and tell me, this is the way. So the churches become afraid of you. The school systems become afraid of you because you'll be bold to tell the school system, you are fake. You're not teaching me anything. You're only modernizing my mentality and, and, and programming my system to accept the fact that I'm a modern slave. The food system is afraid of you. Because you'll be bold to tell, this food is killing you that you know it. The church system is afraid of you. The health system, because you know it's a taboo against your physical body to take this thing. So all these systems are against you. And you are against yourself. You know why? Because you are so much of a coward that you can't even spend a single minute to go into your own self and believe what your own self is telling you. Believe what your cry is telling you. You can't even trust yourself. And you want to be part of the 1%. No, you are already a failed that. Is that an English word? I don't care. <laughs> I speak it anyway because I don't care what you think an English word is. Is that a failed that? I said it. I don't care what you think, whether you think I'm educated or not. That's none of my business. That is your business. That's why you dare to think about it. Who authorized the language to be What can you do? Or if I want to speak English and I say, into the comment of the truth that in, in, into that, what makes you think it's not English? Because somebody told you it's not English, so you believe. English don't have any language. Come on. This is why you are dangerous for them. Because once you become a thinker, once you apply knowledge, once you apply intelligence, once you use your brains, they won't like you. So stop being liked. Everybody wants everybody to like. Don't like me. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I care less about what you think or not think of me. Because at the end of the day, you will do business with me. 
<laughs> I'm telling you. At the end of the day, you come to me. So why would I care about you? If you are in a place that you don't know anything about a place, and I happen to be in the place already before you, and I know everything about a place, why should I care about your opinion about a place that you just got in? Huh? I know something you don't. So why should I care about what you think? Wait till you get to, you get to where, I'm, where I'm at, right? And then you can talk about the things I know. Because I obviously know certain things you don't know. And whatever you know, I know. So what makes you think that you can speak? Think. Use your head. Use the intelligence that the creators give you. Your true self came into this dimension with a capacity and power and presence. Use it. Wisdom is like wildfire. Wisdom is not dull. Wisdom is always active. Wisdom is always alive. Intelligence is always alive. Intelligence is always burning. Intelligence is always yearning. For the next thing, you have been sucked in to a system that is doing nothing to you by destroying you. It's time you wake up from the shadows that you accepted your life to be in and come into the truth, into the realness of your being. And your life of promise can never be the same. I'm here for you. Just in case you didn't know, I'm not against you. I'm here for you. I'm here to assist. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you become who you're supposed to be. And not the opposite. And once you begin to understand that, you will know that everything that you thought you knew is not what it is. It's time to wake up. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> I'm not a man, 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 I'